Hi Scorpio, this is your weekly day by day tarot cards reading by Emma for the week starting 21st of December 2020. We will have two cards per day every day of this week. So Monday the 21st of December for you Scorpio and we have the hung man. Tuesday, Ten of Cups. Wednesday, Five of Pentacles. Thursday, Nine of Wands. Friday, Justice. Saturday, Queen of Cups. And Sunday, Ace of Swords. Your influencing energy is Four of Cups. There is offer that is maybe good for you, maybe yes, maybe not. You pretend not to even see it. Maybe you feel tired, maybe you're just not up to anything right now. But you definitely not agile at this point. The hangman with ten of wands on Monday, Tuesday ten of cups with seven of swords, five of pentacles on Wednesday with seven of wands. Nine of Wands with the Empress. Justice on Friday with the Tower. Queen of Cups with Seven of Swords. And Ace of Swords with the Emperor. King of Wands. It, King of Wands energy is within you and that energy is very nice. That is very active, very enthusiastic. Perhaps you are already busy with something or you have plenty ideas. Something that you are busy with already. This is rather busy person, rather loud. Always lots of ideas, always something to do. With its two hands for some other people, for himself, one man business. You see what I'm saying? That kind of energy, active. Your environment, it seems that you are really busy with something on your own. That even if there's something else is coming your way, you are not even paying attention to that. You will perhaps notice it later. But not at this time. Something that passed a notice, this offer that came. You were very busy with your own stuff. Lots of things on your mind. Now the hangman with ten of wands. That's you feel that you are burden, and that's waiting. That's learning. That's long course, year long course to finish. You see, you see what I'm saying. With the hangman, it's always something to sacrifice your time, your money, your something of yourself. You are sacrificing this time. Because you have to learn, you have to know something, you have to have experience in that field. Or you, you see what I'm saying, you have to see what other people are doing in the same situation. Something like that. It's always just like that, hang in there. But there where you are, stop and do something. Stop and learn. Uh, um, find out what other people are thinking. But do not move. Now, Ten of Wands is burden. I really think that you have to learn something. There is either some sort, some course that you have. Online, university, college, something else. Some course that you have to finish. Some knowledge that you have to acquire. Some, I think, studies are they with these wands. And it is burden and it is a lot. Long road until you get to the end. Hangman will last a year, perhaps. But it is something that you have to endure. That's what says on Monday. Something that is rather long term. And it will require endurance and effort. Now, Ten of Cups and Six of uh, Swords on Tuesday. Now, this is lovely energy. This is family, happy family. Something that whatever happened, you are grateful for that what happened. You are going into Kama Waters. You put your worries away. You know, it's not that you've been solving problems with the Six of Swords. No, you just decided there is no reason to solve these problems. My problems, other people's problems. Whatever that was for you. Because these swords are problems, worries, something that was on your mind. And it was rather difficult. 
you are all right with yourself. You're going to something calmer. Yes, maybe what comes on Monday, it says, yes, it will be long run. It will be difficult. Yes, you have to learn something and it is maybe six months or a year long course or whatever it is. But eventually it will, you know, bring a good results. It will bring bright future for you. At that point, you immediately feel easier. You immediately feel lighter and easier and more comfortable with this, with yourself, with situation, everything becomes a bit more simpler because you do have prospect for yourself. You know, you know that you do have future for yourself. Something like that, Monday, Tuesday. Now, this is happy family. This is being, being grateful for that what you've got. Ten of Cups always promise happiness in the future as well, for happy future as well. That's with Ten of Cups. Now this Tuesday is kind of feeling relieved. Your mind is here, it is, and you feel prospect, good prospect for yourself. Being very grateful for that, what you have. Tuesday, no, Five of Pentacles and Seven of Wands on Wednesday, you are struggling to, to defend your opinion. Your environment with Five of Pentacles, it's something, some sort of something where you are lacking money. There is this window full of pentacles, beautiful and bright, but people are around outside this building, on the cold, by themselves, no money, no warmth. You see what I'm saying? Very poor situation in your environment. Perhaps you do have idea how to improve your financial situation. And you are talking with somebody. you explaining to people. Maybe you want this joint, joint venture with somebody. You want somebody's support in order to make money, to make the situation a bit better. But you need support of these people. You are explaining your ideas and you are very, very adamant. You are, you are convinced that you are right and people are supposed to follow your idea. It will bring it will bring the money, it will bring prosperity, it will be better. That kind of Wednesday, you are struggling to explain to people that you are right. Now, nine of wands and the empress, you will be completing this situation, whatever it is. Maybe that was a job that is outstanding. I don't know, some some job, some details undone, something that you are doing repeatedly over and over again and you're kind of sick and tired of doing it at all. But uh, um, it's a lot of the lot is already done and you cannot afford to just leave it behind or just ignore it. You have to complete it because otherwise losses would be too, uh, too big. And with the Empress, I think that what it says, you completed this situation, you completed this task, you did put together whatever ideas with this Nine of Wands, you managed to complete, because the Empress says something is done and dusted. that you are enjoying your wealth, you, enjoy, you are having a good time, you made your comfort zone. You did put an extra effort, to make this comfort zone, but extra effort was needed. But perhaps that what you've done on Thursday is important for your long-term future. And pay attention on Thursday, that what you finish perhaps is important for your life, long-term future, for your comfort zone as well, something like that. Now, Friday has two majors, the Tower and Justice. It says to me that something was difficult and I will point to this Five of Pentacles, Nine of Wands. These are difficult times. You know, this is endurance physically to endure the situation and this is how to survive difficult times. You see what I'm saying? This Wednesday and Thursday were difficult days but in this combination on Friday says that you are managing to convert this difficult situation into something positive, to get something out of it, to gain something out of it. You are making serious decision that will benefit you, maybe also people around you, because it is your environment. For long term, all right, we do have Empress just before. Decision will be very important, will be very positive, will be very favorable. 
and it will come out of difficulties. You will have lots of strength, lots of stamina in here. You will be perhaps right in here with your seven of wands. You will have ideas, you will work hard, and you will get out of this situation with the right decision. Very nice, very nice, but I mean, you will endure a lot and you will rise out of this ruin to bring something positive. Queen of Cups, it's you. It's you. You will be very happy with yourself. You will feel like you just managed to get out of the war and to benefit with something. You see what I'm saying? Running away from difficulties, rising out of these ruins as a wiener, getting out of this war with benefits. You see what I'm saying? Somehow you're getting out of this situation and you are benefiting or this difficult situation and you are benefiting. Very admirable, Scorpio. You feel good on this day. On Saturday, you are in your full power, Queen of Cups, that's your energy. You are very happy with yourself. You are very calm, collected, emotionally very stable. It seems to me that you did care of other people as well, maybe the family, because Queen of Cups, it's rather family oriented, but lovely day, very similar to Friday, just kind of consequence of this Friday, you know, feeling that you did manage to benefit out of this difficult situation and feeling good about yourself. Lovely, of course, enjoy your Saturday. Now, Sunday is something else. Now you feel power, the emperor within you. Now that's power, that's authority. All right, this is supreme authority in the whole deck, the king of the kings, which says you are bringing structure, major structure right now, changing lots around you in that situation in your life, in that particular situation or in your life as a whole, changing a lot, changing this structure from the bottom to the top. That what was broken, that what fall apart, that the difficulties that you did have, did have decision is right and you are beginning to build from the bottom up, bringing new structure in your life very clear mind. You know exactly what you're doing, you know exactly where you're heading. This combination is just perfect combination. If you're beginning to, from the scratch to build your life, that is the right way. You cannot fail with these two. That is massive authority and that is, this is clearest mind. There's no mistake with these two. Sunday, make your plans. Start bringing structure for your new life and enjoy it, Scorpio.